Right, let's see if we can get some of this wire connected up. I've got me crimps. I'm using blue blue crimps for this one because I need to get two wires in. If it was only one wire, I'd be using a red one, which is slightly smaller. And I've also got heat shrink wraps. So get that onto there. And just pop that into there until it gets you feel that it gets to the right spot. Crimps. I know the blue is the middle one. Just give that a good crimp up like that. Then that one's nice and secure. I'm not a big fan of crimps really to be honest. They're not my biggest thing going. This one, I don't want to cut it short in case I never, in case I need to get the light off at some point. So I'm going to go with somewhere about there for that. Don't forget your heat shrink wrap on this one as well. So these heat shrink wraps. I'm using them because they give you a nice watertight connection. Get that one crimped on there nicely. Make sure they're all secure. Put your heat shrink wrap over. Get that roughly in the middle where you want it. And then, just with a lighter, just heat it a bit. Obviously don't do it too much, you don't want to burn your cables. And then, there you go. Check that. You've got yourself a nice watertight little seal there. So I'm going to move on and do a few more and I'll get back to you. Just thought I'd quickly show you this one. This one's finished as to the outside light obviously heat shrink wraps are on there I'll just get them cables a little bit tighter I'm gonna try and twirl that round a bit so it's leaving some cable for the outside and now uh, I've just got to get on and sort this lot out I've just finished these uh, navigation lights connected them up the, I've just tested them, they seem to be working okay, gone round, got to do a little bit of tidying up still, but other than that, it's getting there, got to tidy up, like I say, so they're in, but what I wanted to say is, um, the cable I'm using, like I was saying about the cable I've used I've actually used a one mil cable which is a 16 amp cable and the cable actually for the lights is uh, 0 0.75 and I think on one or two of them it's actually 0 0.5 but I've actually used a thicker cable which is like uh, the one mil 16 amp for the current drop because it's about um, nine meters long the actual run from the switch right the way around so there'd be no issues with a drop in current that you get one side is brighter than the other because that's what will actually happen one will take a lot of the power so it'll be bright the way it should be. The next one will be a little bit dimmer. And the one after that will be a bit dimmer still. So by putting the thicker cable in. It won't be an issue. They will all be just the way they should be. So the nav lights are all in now. Um, I've put the cable in. Because I'm going to put two floodlights on the front. I've bought just these little cheap floodlights, LEDs, 
very low power consumption. I'm going to put two of them on the front. I have tried the same light out with just one on, but one up on the deck just to try it out. And it does actually work, but it's the bare minimum of what you would need. So I bought two of these and they're, they really are cheap I think it's eight or nine pound for the two uh, you have to wait a long time because obviously because they're coming in from China you can buy them here but they're a lot more expensive and you got the same product really so I'm always quite happy just to wait for it to turn up I've got to fix them on the outside but I'm waiting for a little junction box to come so I can fix them either side put the wires into the waterproof junction box then one wire can come through into the boat and then if I ever need to change them I can undo the junction box and just change whichever light just seems a bit more practical than just fixing them inside and then I can't get to it anymore and don't forget can subscribe uh, you can push the like button if it's of any use or help to you whatsoever if you've got any comments please leave them uh, below if you've got any tips or hints or something for me can you please leave that as well because they're always welcome because like I've never done a boat before this is my first time so a lot of it's trial and error for me but it's getting there slowly so don't forget subscribe if you're finding it interesting oh and just one last thing before i go i uh, don't know if you found it useful that you could see a little bit what i was doing using the stand so a really big thing thank you to mr nick for giving us the stand to be able to film it well i'll see you later bye